How's it going, everybody? This is Chad from Vintage Space, and we're going to be playing Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. And for today's video, I want to do a tutorial on how to do more clean booster separations from your rockets. I already have a rocket staged here inside the vehicle assembly building. Um, it's ridiculous, ridiculously large for what we're uh, trying to do today. Um, it kind of looks like a hybrid of the SLS, Ares 5, and Saturn 5. So let's go ahead and pick out these things called Cephatrons. And what you're going to want to do is mount those on the side of your boosters. Uh, we could probably just do these in pairs so that the other side here uh, can get the Cephatron mounted. There we go. We just kind of check on the top to see if it's centered. Now, as you can see, the nozzle's pointing down and we don't want that. So we're going to go down here to rotate and translate. And we're going to rotate at 90 degrees. All right. And then we're going to push it in a little bit. You can press C on your keyboard to do a smooth translation so it doesn't do it by steps. All right. Perfect. Now we're going to hold Alt, click on the Cephatron, and we're going to place uh, two more on the bottom. Just kind of, it gets a little finicky here to try to get it to the center. Uh, if it's not super, super perfect, that's okay. Looks like it's five degrees off, but that is okay. And just like before, uh, we're going to rotate it. You can actually uh, hit the two key, and that's another shortcut to get into the rotation. And then you can go ahead and rotate it, and then push it in. Now, here's the, here's the deal. We want to make this booster separation look epic and awesome. So, let's go ahead and right click the Separatron here and reduce the thrust limiter to, let's say, 50%. Now, I'm not sure if it did it on the other side, so I'm going to right click this one just to double check. And yes, it is 50%. I do apologize if uh, the game's a little laggy. Uh, when right-clicking parts, when you have a large rocket like this, the new parts manager that they uh, have in this game, um, it's just kind of, it's in its early stages, so it's trying to list all the parts here when you right-click. So basically, the issue with the parts manager is it's trying to list all the parts and uh, it just hasn't been optimized yet. All right, now that we've got these mounted, let's go check our staging. And we want to include this one here above where the boosters are. So the boosters fire and then they separate. So we also need to include the decouplers as well. So these need to fire at the same time as these decouple. And I think everything's ready here. I'm just going to go ahead and stick some launch clamps. As Jack Jacksepticeye would say, give them the clamps. And let's just put two of these on the, on the core stage here. Make sure they're staged properly above the boosters. So we'll fire the engine, we'll fire the boosters, we'll fire the Cephatrons. Let's go to launch. The drink of the day is just a cup of coffee. Um, I'm tired. Haven't had a very good day today. Uh, let's just get this thing off the pad here. Main engine start. 
booster ignition, lift off. Okay. We're gonna let this thing go and ascend just straight up. And uh, when these boosters separate, I'm gonna hit spacebar and show you how they look. And this never was tested before, and the reason why is because I like explosions. We've just ate through about 33% of our solid fuel. While this is going up, I'd like to thank all the recent subscribers. Uh, for every subscriber, the wall behind me uh, is getting more audio foam. And also this little purple light here uh, just kind of trying some new things. I uh, haven't quite figured out uh, a permanent format yet for these types of videos. Right now we've got about 33% left of solid fuel. I really wanted to make this video shorter, um, like around three minutes, but we definitely went over. So I hope you guys are still with me and enjoying the video. And I cannot wait for the next patch. We're kind of overdue for patch number two. Um, hopefully that patch can uh, help improve this uh, stuttery performance here. All right, we're almost on to booster separation. Here we go. So basically when we reduce the thrust on the bottom, uh, it kind of just did this little angle separation. Uh, it's not the coolest thing, I guess, uh, but we can, uh, of course, make future videos with more spectacular spec uh, separations. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cease and desist this video because I really need to get things wrapped up, and um, yeah, I will see you guys out on the launch pad. <laughs> 